Hello and welcome back. My name is Colton from Ankeny Van Builds and on this week's video, we're gonna be talking all about the sync system that I have in this van. It is super simple, super cheap, uh, but I'm also gonna go over the pros and cons of this compared to a 12 volt pump. I didn't make a video the last three weeks, but I'm back and I should be continuing my weekly uploads from here on out. Also, I just checked and I just hit over 4,000 subscribers on this channel. So we're only 96,000 away from 100K. So we're right there, we're at the finishing stretch. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And let's go ahead and start this week's video. Peace. So going over my setup real quick, we got our fresh water tank right here with our half inch nylon tube, which then goes in to our marine grade foot pump, which comes up and threads into the braided hose to the faucet. I had to get pretty creative with the different size adapters going from a half inch barb down into the threaded insert here. So then that comes up into the faucet. I only have it on the cold water section Right here is the hot water and I just have it capped off so it doesn't take any of the pressure and no water comes through there. So then that comes up over here. I have to make sure that this is opened up and then I can just step on the foot pump and water will come out. That water then comes down through this uh, RV P-trap into this tube which then drains into my gray water tank which I marked with some duct tape so I don't ever mix them up. So talking about some of the pros with this foot pump here is the fact that it is very, very simple to install. The hardest part about it was finding the right size fittings that go that half inch hose from the faucet itself down to that half inch uh, barbed adapter for the half inch tube. So what I did is I just took the foot pump into Home Depot. I had the half inch nylon tube and I just grabbed some fittings, put them all together until they fit into faucet itself. And then you always gotta make sure if, if it's ever a tube going to a hosed barb, you need a hose clamp and then any threaded fittings, you wanna have that plumber's tape or Teflon tape as it's called. So once that part was over, the rest of the install was super, super simple. And you know, some of the pros with it is that you don't need any electricity, so you don't need to worry about how you're gonna run wires back to your electrical system. It saves you on power, and it also makes no noise. So those 12 volt pumps can make, can be a little bit noisy, and uh, the foot pump, there isn't any. Also, the overall cost of just using this foot pump as opposed to a full 12 volt pump is, is fairly inexpensive. Um, and it also saves you on water. So when you use the foot pump, you don't quite use as much water as you would if you just turn this on and let the water run. So as long as this valve is open, you can, both hands can be free. You can wash your hands, wash some dishes, whatever it is. And, and you only use as much water as you put into it. So in that aspect, it saves you on electricity and it saves you on how much water you consume, which are two very, very important things in the van. Now, obviously you can't talk about the pros of something without talking about all of the cons. So let's go ahead and start talking about some of the cons with this foot pump. So I would say the most noticeable and most inconvenient thing about this foot pump is in fact the lack of water that comes out. So if you wanna use it for something like filling up a water bottle or even just washing dishes, uh, you, it's, it kinda of turns into a workout stepping on that foot pump over and over and over just to get enough water to come out to fill up a water bottle. So some of the workarounds we do is if we're on longer road trips, we'll just buy a gallon of that, of drinking water from a gas station or something else. And we'll strictly fill up our water bottles using that. And the sink will just be for washing our face, washing our hands and doing the dishes. And for another con, if you watched my video on how I installed my last sink, I had it set up to where I could spin it around and have an outdoor shower using a little suction cup shower uh, suction cup shower head holder uh, you don't have that option in this one you could do a buddy shower I guess where one person is stepping on the foot pump over and over while the other person's outside getting rinsed off but that just isn't very practical and it's kind of a lot of work so that would be another con with that which in the grand scheme of things they are very little things but 
you know, if we were living in this full time, I think that this would be the first thing that I would either upgrade or change out because it is pretty inconvenient when you just want to fill up your water bottle real quick before heading out somewhere or just doing the dishes and you just need more water to come out every time you step on it. So I think that that shouldn't be overlooked. It sounds like not that big of a deal, but over time that would get extremely annoying. So I think that is definitely something to consider. So now talking about a 12 volt pump. In the last fan that I built out, I put in a 12 volt SureFlow pump uh, that was connected into our battery system and it ran out of similar uh, seven gallon water jugs and into a sink. And honestly, all of those things that I was scared of when I first built this one out, which was scared of doing the electrical because I had no idea how to work that. I was scared of using a pump because I didn't know if it would be difficult or what adapters or things like that I would need and I couldn't find really a clear video on how to do it. So I kind of convinced myself that I was out of my league at the beginning and I decided to go with this foot pump instead, which at the time was a good idea because I learned how to do this and it was actually really easy. But after doing it with the 12 volt pump, I gotta say that it really wasn't that much more difficult. In fact, there was it was almost a little bit easier finding different adapters to go into the, that pump and into that hose for the faucet than it was to find something for this. So that being said, I think, you know, I have a video that I made. It really broke down how I set it up. So if that's something you guys are considering and you're on the fence about, do I want to go super simple, super cheap, or do I want to have a little bit of more luxury in the van um, and more of a, a want as opposed to a need, I would say go watch that video if you feel confident enough after watching it then I would totally recommend the 12 volt pump. And the reason is, it's just that just water pressure alone. Being able to turn, open up the valve, having full water pressure like it's the sink in your house, it really just makes the van so much more homey. You feel like you're not uh, sacrificing as much, you know, living out of your van as opposed to your house. And it's just one of those really nice to have things um, it makes washing your face, washing your hands, washing dishes just that much easier when you have that much more water pressure. Now, on the flip side of that, having better water pressure means that you're using more water and you'll have to refill uh, more often, but that's something that you guys have to decide whether or not the pros outweigh the cons on that one or if the juice is worth the squeeze. So, in my opinion, I don't think I'll ever do one of these foot pumps again. It has been great for the two years that I've used it, but I think from here on out, I will always do a 12 volt pump just based on one, now knowing how to, how to install it and how easy it really is. And two, it's just so much better to have one of those. Now, the only real difference with, with doing the two of them is you gotta kinda plan it out a little bit better. So before you put your sink in, you gotta know where your pump is gonna go so that, that way you can just pre-run some wires to it and also have a layout of knowing that the pump's gonna go in one place and having holes drilled in your cabinet so you can run wires to your battery setup. But honestly, other than that, that's, that's really the only difference when it comes to like building out the van and planning ahead is just where is that 12 volt wire gonna go? So I hope this video helped you guys out make your decision. I know for me it was kind of difficult. I couldn't find any real good videos on how to do a 12 volt setup. I was really scared of anything electrical. So for a cheap, easy, simplified water setup, I would go with this foot pump. If you're willing to take on a little bit more of a challenge, spend just a little bit more money, I think doing the 12 volt option is a better option. But before this video ends, I will give you a full run through, uh, talk about all the, all the bits and pieces that is required to set this system up. And then if whoever is interested in the house build update, I will give you guys a quick run through that. So let's go ahead and show you all the bits and pieces of this sink here. So again, this is the seven gallon water jug that holds all the fresh water. I just took the spigot off and I attached this half inch nylon tube. which just pushes all the way down to the bottom so that I can get all the water out of it. It comes down here. I drilled a hole through the cabinet and through the toe kick, which then goes into the foot pump itself. 
on each connection I have these hose barbs to make sure that they there aren't any leaks and then coming up here here's my half inch adapter to this threaded adapter which then connects into the faucet line so as you can see I needed to buy two separate adapters one that has the hose barb that goes to a threaded insert and then this threaded insert that then goes into this hose barb here I can't remember the exact depth, um, dimensions of each of these but at least this will give you an idea of what you need to look for when you go in to Home Depot so then that just goes up into the sink like normal and then drains into our RV adapter which is easily found on Amazon it has this 90 degree angle this all comes with it and then I just have it also connected right through the the cap there okay and now on to the house build update as you can see the past three weeks they have been going to absolute work here so right here is the existing house we got a second bedroom up top that connects over making it a duplex and then in here this is where the shop is going to be so this is what i'm going to be using to build out all the next vans coming up here in the future it's got a garage door on both sides you can come through this doorway and into this other carport slash living area so it'll have a garage door on one side and another one on the other side with a half bath and the washer dryer set up down here and then in here is our actual entryway so then you can come up here up the stairs and this is where our actual living area is going to be so over here is going to be the kitchen you're going to have an island here in the middle slider door and it's hard to tell on camera but these are actually 10 foot ceilings and this slider door right here is eight foot then over here we got pretty cool fireplace uh, another bedroom is going to go right here and then we'll have two doors here a pocket door on this side and we're going to have tile that goes up on this shower here's our bathtub toilet's going to go oh it's kind of dark up here toilet's going to go right here vanity here and then another bedroom over here and then when you come out back here you can see we have a covered patio over the backyard we got some new windows that i'm going to put into the existing house and then over here is going to be all landscaped by the time it's done it looks just like a construction zone but it's going to look really nice so anyways yeah super impressed with how it's all coming together it's really exciting to watch um, I'll be sure to update you guys every week from here on out at the end of the videos for whoever's interested. But on that, I'm going to end this video here and I'll see you guys next week. See ya.